Honestly, I love the sport now. It's so funny. And I, I don't want to say now, it's just again. It's, it's kind of like, it's, it's like anything. It's like an ebb and flow to, you know, life and, and, and your interests. And um, after Sochi, it was pretty funny. I mean, I've been doing these interviews and they asked me about like, well, what's your training like now? What's so different? I'm like, well, I work out more. <laughs> you know, that, like, it's simple things. But honestly, like the biggest improvement was like, getting right with myself like getting right with my mindset and being inspired again like being excited to be a snowboarder and just to go to the mountain and, and take runs for fun like get back into those those beginning reasons of why i did the sport in the first place you know um, you know honestly i feel very fortunate to say this <laughs> you know like everything had gone to plan except sochi you know i'd never been to an olympics and and lost before i'd never felt that and um, you know I've lost plenty of things but never in Olympics and never on such a, a, a big scale like that and so it was just this coming to reality sort of moment and I go oh wow well I'm still alive I'm still going like you know like this was an upset but what's to be learned from it and I kind of found myself with extra time on my hands to do just that that's where I got to reset I got to play music I got to see friends I, I, I had you know this amazing summer at home just just being with friends and family and just like living my life and now I'm like back doing what I've always loved but I just kind of like had this cloudy vision of it you know and um, the thing that was funny is is any problems in my life I always assumed that the Olympics was just gonna fix it you know what I'm, I'm saying like not the Olympics, but just like success, like like winning and, and doing that, because it always has in the past. It's a lot of dedicating, you know, your life to this specific thing, and there's a toll. Uh, it's it's physical and mentally draining to do that. So for me, it was like, yeah, I put the same boots on. I go to the you know chairlift. I, I you know, I deal with these same things. It's cold. I'm away from my friends. I'm you know like. People forget I like grew up at the beach. I had asthma as a kid. Like I don't like the cold. <laughs> like I get up there and I'm like, okay, let's do this. <laughs> like my runs up win. <laughs> you know, so it's just like it's all part of it. And you sacrifice a certain amount because you know you you you, you want to win and you want to succeed and push the limits of something. But at a certain point, it's just like it's got to give somewhere. And um, but then you find the love for it again. So yeah, I'm just hoping to to to. to show up and, and ride like I know I can, you know, put the runs down. And then if I do that, I'm, I'm totally content. <laughs>